They said that I should branch out. Here I am, breaking through the ceiling. Riding this, I felt uncomfortable, but crazy. Here I am. If money talks, I let my water talk forever. I guess I'm happy now. Honestly, I could be better, but I'll talk about it later. I gotta. Alright guys, my name is Ben Black and today I'm going to be doing another review for Critique.tv. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mike Tiampo Legacy 2. Let's get into it. It's a race to the finish, haven't stopped once. This feeling of new heights makes me hot without blunts. I'm fly, who are they to tell me that I can't stop? So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is performance. The first couple of sessions I was very sceptical. I'm going to put that down to just having not broken them in yet, but at the start I was pretty worried that they weren't going to live up to the legacy that the other TMPs had left, but after a couple of sessions when I've broken them in, I was satisfied. They were really good, not on the same level as the Predator, but still, performance wise, they performed well. We could come together, all you hear is lies on the radio. They won't play real music right here. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is comfort, and I believe comfort is the most important part of a boot. And with these boots, they definitely didn't let me down. I had no blisters, and they're really not stiff at all. This front bit, especially, is just so soft that it's really quite comfortable to wear. In my own energy, just a bit of mold, but acting like you might as don't mean you're touching me. Next up is design. I previously mentioned that I really like the design. It's clean, it's simplistic, and it looks really nice. However, just bear in mind they are white boots, and they will get. So when you choose the next pair of boots, just think about that. Sell who we are. This is entertainment. Self may be Next up is weight. So I've already mentioned that they're roughly the same as the Predator. I'm not sure exactly, but now I've played in them, I can tell you that they didn't affect my performance at all, and they just felt like a normal boot. And she don't deserve it. Breaking time did take a bit longer than other boots that I've worn in the past. At the front, it's really soft and just broken straight away. However, up here, it's a bit more stiff, so it took a bit longer. Drop it, girl. Why don't you pick up the pin? Durability wise, I've been impressed so far. I have worn them for quite a few sessions and I've had no rips or tears anywhere on the boot. The only thing I would say is that they are a wide boot so they will get a bit dirtier over time. However, performance wise, this will not affect you. It's a voice in trance. If we all come together, we can fix what's broke. Yeah, I'm talking about record. Okay, so now I'm going to give you my overall verdict on the boots. Honestly, I've been really impressed. I've had no problems with them and they performed really well. They are recommended for midfielders, however, I would recommend them to anyone. They're a really solid boot. They performed really well and it will be hard to choose between the Predator Instinct and these boots the next time I go out. Thank you for watching.